So to solve this problem, we need balanced chemical equations for the complete combustion of ethane. C2H6 plus 3.5O2 goes to 2O2 plus 3H2O. And also for the incomplete combustion of ethane. So C2H6 plus 2.5O2 goes to 2CO plus 3H2O. And I'm going to divide the stoichiometry by 2 for both of these, and it will make things easier later on. So we'll have 0.5 C2H6 plus 1.75 O2 goes to CO2 plus 1.5 H2O. Uh, 0.5 C2H6 plus 1.25 O2 goes to CO plus 1.5 H2O. So that then allows us to have all the other components in relation to just one lot of CO or one lot of CO2. Um, because these are the components we can work out first, it will make it then easier to work out the other elements in here. So here are the simplified equations and we've got a table to see what's going in and what's coming out. Um, first of all, we'll fill in bits and pieces that we know. So what's coming in, we've got 1k mole of ethane going in, because that's the basis that we're working on. Um, we know we have 0 CO2, 0 CO and 0 water going in. And we know we'll have 0 oxygen coming out, because we've got incomplete combustion and all the O2 is used up. Now we know that there's 80% conversion of the ethane, so that will leave 20% in the outlet gases. So that will give us 0.2 kmoles of ethane in the outlet. Now we also know some other information. Um, we know, for example, that the CO out plus the CO2 out equals two times the C2H6 consumed because there's two carbon atoms in each ethane converting to either one of those. Um, and we know that the C2H6 consumed is 0 0.8 because it's 80% conversion, so it's two times 0 0.8 equals 1.6 so 1.6 kmoles combined for the CO and the CO2 coming out. We also know from the question information that the CO out divided by the CO2 out equals 1 over 4 and that's because there's a 1 to 4 ratio of these gases in the outlet. So if we rearrange this we know that the CO out equals 0.25 times the CO2 out. And if we substitute this information into the equation up here, we can then solve for the two unknowns that we've got here. So, therefore, 0.25 CO2 out plus CO2 out so that's just substituting in from this equation up here equals 1.6 and again we can rearrange this so CO2 out equals 1.6 divided by 1.25 and that equals overall 1.2 8 k moles and then by difference from the top equation the CO out equals 
1.6, the, the combined amount of those two gases, take away 1.28 equals 0.32 k moles of CO in the outlet. So then we can fill those in up here. So we know we have 1.28, 0.32. So that's uh, starting to fill in the table for us. In terms of the H2O, H2O out, we know from the stoichiometry that that will be 1.5 times the CO2 out plus 1.5 times the CO out. So once we work all of that out, it's going to be 2.4 K moles once we substitute the numbers in. So then we can fill in in our table that we have 2.4 k moles of water coming out. In terms of the oxygen coming in, O2 in, again we can use the stoichiometry. We know that this is going to be 1.75 times the CO2 out and 1.25 of the CO out. So that will equal 1.75 times 1.28 plus 1.25 times 0 0.32. And that calculates to 2.64 k moles. So we can fill that in on the table up here, 2.64. So all that we're left with now is the nitrogen and we can get that from a ratio of the O2 because it's air that's being mixed with the ethane to actually um, cause the combustion. We can work out that the air in equals 2.64, the amount of oxygen going in divided by 0 0.21. That's 12.571 k moles, and therefore the N2 in must equal 12.571 times 0 0.79, and that equals 9.931 k moles. So we can fill that in on our table. 9.931 and we're treating this as inert so then it comes out in the outlet as well and so that is how we can calculate the incomplete combustion material balance for ethane.